at about this time tomorrow afternoon when Melina Mercuri, Peter Ustinov, Maximilian Schell and Robert Morley are involved in a daring plan to steal a priceless jewel encrusted dagger from the Topkapi Museum in Istanbul. Topkapi at 2.10 tomorrow. And next Saturday afternoon, a double bill of British films with music, starting with that little white bull himself, Tommy Steele as Tommy the Toreador, enjoying a series of crazy adventures in and around Seville in Spain. That's at 2.50. And at 4.40, more of the sunny side of life with Cliff Richard and company out on a cruise in the Mediterranean, enjoying a wonderful life. We're back to this Saturday afternoon and in 25 minutes, the final of the World Professional Darts Championship. After, we join Brian Kant, Fluella Benjamin and friends for Play Away. Knock, knock! Tigers? There aren't any tigers here. Yeah, I know. Good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Brian. Yeah? Everyone thinks I'm a cricket ball. How's that? Oh, don't you start as well. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Keith. Hi, Brian. How are you? Well, I've just been ill with spotted fever. Oh, yeah. Was it dangerous? No, it was spotted in time. Oh. Right. Tony! Hello, mate. Nice to see you. How are you? All right. I had a cold. Yeah. Uh, and it gave me a runny nose, but yeah. I went to the acupuncturist. Oh, oh, one of those people who stick needles in you? Yeah, yeah. He stuck a needle in the back of my hand, just yeah. there. Did it stop your runny nose? No, but it stopped me going like that. <laughs> Hey, Doris. Yeah? What about Leroy? Ah. Well, now he's keeping his record player in the fridge. Don't worry. Leroy just likes his music real cool. <laughs> oh, just a moment. Come up here and read me one of my favourite fairy tales. Yay, my lady. Once upon a time, there was a girl who was as kind as she was beautiful. Alas, her own mother had died, and she lived with her wicked stepmother and two horrible, ugly sisters who made her do all the housework and dressed her in rags. At night, this fair young girl would huddle near the hearth for warmth amongst all the cinders and the soot. And thus, she became known as Sooty. <laughs> in the morning, and I sometimes nudge in the afternoon as well. <laughs> oh, look! Hello, Sylvia Snail! Hello, Nadja. <laughs> Wonderful weather, isn't it? Oh, it may be so now, but it's not going to be late. It's going to be cold and windy. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be warm and sunny. No, no, listen. I always know when it's going to be cold and windy, because the hairs on my antennae start to quiver, and they've been doing that all morning. No, no, no. My bunion plays up and it's going to be rotten, so it's going to be warm and sunny, because it's perfectly all right today. Warm and sunny. No, oh, cold and windy. Warm and sunny. Cold and windy. Warm and sunny. <laughs> With the occasional scattered shower. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I should now like to perform for you my latest composition. I thank you. earth was that? Pop music. Don't stop. 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 Don't st
I'm another pop group. What pop group am I? It's a case. You see a case. Case for the knee. Case for the knee. Yay! And the Sunshine Band. Yay! shop and ask me for the latest hit. So I says to him, do you want to put it on before you buy it? Okay, he said, and puts it over his head. Too small, he said. Well, I'm not surprised I told him. It's the latest tight fit. <laughs> what a wally man. But look at the place here. It's filthy. You see, I've got so much to do today. I was late coming in this morning and my boss, Mr. Grimble, says to me, Rita, you should have been here nine o'clock this morning. Why, I said to him, did I miss something? <laughs> but to tell you the truth, why I was late is because I couldn't get a seat on the bus. So I said to the bus conductor, who's your favorite pop star? Oh, Diana Ross, he said. Well, if Diana Ross wanted a seat on this bus, wouldn't you find her one? Oh, yes, darling. So I said to him, she's not coming, so I'll have it. <laughs> 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 eh, eh, my first customer. 
Hello, dear sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, I want to buy a record for my Auntie Elsie, but I don't know what it's called or anything. No problem, sir. What's the name of the group? Well, what's the problem? See, I, I don't know, but I think it's got a double B in it. E-E. No, B-B. See the shelves, man. They're full of records. You're, they're always playing this one on Radio 1. Uh, I'm sure you'd know it. It sort of goes... Uh, He's got uh, another bit. It goes, um, uh, Spain, Spain. Oh, oh, yes, yes. You mean bed bug boogie? No, I don't think it's that. But it's terribly popular. There's a, a bit in the middle. It goes. Spain, Spain. Oh, yes. Then it goes. Uh, could I hear it first, please? On and on, brother. Thank you. Here we go. Right. Spain. That's the one. Great. Thank you. With my little eye. Yeah. Something beginning with sir. Sir. No. Uh, sir. <laughs> no, I'll give up. Snow. Oh. My turn. Oh, yeah. I spy with my little eye yeah. something beginning with m. 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 No, give up. More snow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cowboy. Yeah? This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> No, 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 Oh, good morning, Bert. Hello, Doc. Oh, Bert. Yeah. When you finish painting this wall, could you have a look at this patient's table? The leg seems a little bit wobbly. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, and when you finish that, could yeah. you have a look at the hand on the clock? Yeah. It seems to be hanging off. Oh, well, I'll do it right. Well, get me toolbox. Good chap. Right. Ah, now, Mrs. Scratchit. And how are we this morning? Oh, fine, thanks, Dr. Proctor. I'm feeling really calm and relaxed about the operation. Good, good. Nothing to worry about, is there? Now, the specialist who's removing your tonsils will be mm -hmm. here in a moment, oh. and he'll tell you anything that you want to know about oh. the operation. Right. Hmm. Good, good. Now, I'll just remove these screens. Oh, right, right, oh, Doctor. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you later. Hello, you did to... That's the one. Yes. Right, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello, Mrs. Uh, Scratch it. How are you doing? Oh, I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, good, good. You must be the specialist. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose you could call me that, really. Oh, yeah. it must be wonderfully rewarding doing your job. <laughs> Where did you study? King's College, was it? No, actually, I just sort of uh, picked it up, you know, off my uncle. Yeah. He used to do a bit in the evenings. How <laughs> unusual. 
Uh, but it must be very satisfying, you know, working in a hospital. Oh, to be honest with you, it's the first hospital I've worked in, yeah. I usually, I usually like to do it outside, you know, up on the scaffolding. <laughs> now, listen. Yeah? I want you to tell me exactly what you're going to do. Don't spare the details. I'm very interested. Oh, that's, uh, that's very nice. Yes. <clears throat> well, to start off with, I shall strip everything off, yeah? And then I shall probably scrub down with a, a wire brush and some sugar soap. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? Well, sometimes some of the loose bits start flaking off. <laughs> but it's all right, cos you can always fill the holes then, you see, with a bit of plaster or something. <laughs> and then? Then I'll probably stop and have a cup of tea and an apple's cake. But what will I be doing? Well, you can have a cup of tea as well, if you like. <laughs> but then you'll be back to work, you know, cos I've got to do a bit of painting then. I'm going to put on a very nice mine vinyl mat, yeah. And then while that's drying off, I can get on with your leg. My leg? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that. Because, you see, if I have to saw a bit off it, it may make it shorter than the other one, and then you'd have to shove a brick under it to balance it up, you see. But there's nothing wrong with me leg. Well, Dr Proctor said that it's gone all wobbly. <laughs> yeah, anyway, when I've done that, I can get on with the hand, can't I? The hand? Yeah, the one that's likely to fall off. I may have to permanently bond that on, you know, with a super glue. You don't do anything else, are you? No, 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 that'll be it then, yeah. But I'll be back again tomorrow. What for? Well, there's a lady in the private ward. She, uh, she wants me to varnish her chest. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yes, well, I really like to do something Yeah? Could you then really get to work with the blowtorch on the old boiler next door? Yeah, of course. Oh, I've got help to go home. I've just remembered I've left the gas on. <laughs> Here, Trevor. Yes, Arnold. I was in the hospital once. Really? Yeah. There was a kangaroo in the next bed. A kangaroo? In hospital? What was he in for? A operation. I've got a friend who's really into all that rock and roll. Really? Yeah. 
but he broke his leg the other night dancing. Oh? Yeah. He was doing the rock around the clock. What happened? He fell off the mantelpiece. No. No. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello, darling. Look what I got for you from the supermarket. Oh, what is it? It's the very latest thing. Slip off your caribou and you can try it on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's just your colour. Yeah, like no, everybody's colour. got one. Yeah. Arm through there, darling. Arm through there. That's it. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, uh, what do you call it? Chest freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I've just crossed an elephant with a kangaroo. An elephant with a kangaroo? Mm. What did you get? Something that never forgets to wear a jumper. <laughs> Here, you two. I have just crossed a gnome with a small piece of wood. What did you get? A smurf board. <laughs> what do you get if a chicken crosses the road, rolls in the mud and crosses back again? Crosses the road, rolls in the mud, crosses back again, don't know. A dirty dabble crosser. <laughs> Icky, mm. what's the difference between a tuna fish and a piano? I don't know. What is the difference between a tuna fish and a piano? Well, you can't tune a fish. <laughs> What's the best thing to put into pies? I don't know what's the best thing to put into pies. Your teeth. Your teeth. Keith. What? What's as big as a dinosaur yeah. but doesn't weigh an ounce? I don't know. What is as big as a dinosaur but doesn't weigh an ounce? A dinosaur shadow. <laughs> I tell you, what did Dick Turpin say at the end of his famous ride to York on Black Bess? We, we don't, don't know. know. What did Dick Turpin say at the end of his famous, famous ride to York on Black Bess? Oh, dear. <laughs> There. Six packets of mothballs. But didn't you buy six packets yesterday? Yeah. Oh, you must have an awful lot of moths. No, only one. Haven't hit him yet, though. <laughs> Here. What? My dog is really stupid. Is he? Yeah. Oh. He went out for a walk last night. Yeah. Got bitten by a jogger. <laughs> I've got a friend, you know, doesn't know the first thing about dogs. Really? Yeah. He thinks a red setter's a Russian jelly. <laughs> Delia! Oh, yes, love. I have just scored 100 and a dog. But that's great. No, it's not. No? No. Uh, it took me 98 throws to do it. <laughs> hey, Brian, Brian! Yeah. yeah? The doctor has just said I'm as well as the next man. Great! No, it's not. Why? The next man's got measles. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Brian. I've written a hit song. <gasps> that's wonderful! Not really. Every time I sing it, people hit me. Oh. <laughs> Boys. Yes. yes. Do you know, my mate's the worst cook in the world. Why is that? Well, only the other day, she tried to bake the sponge, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after six hours, it still wasn't cooked. So what's she do with it then? Put it back in the bath. <laughs> hey, Delia, you've got a banana in your ear. Pardon? You've got a banana in your ear. You don't have to speak up. I've got a banana in my ear. Here, folks, what? I've just eaten the plowman's lunch. Have you? Yes. He went off mad. <laughs> <laughs> It really doesn't matter if it's raining or it's fine. Just as long as you've got time to be a lay It's now 4.45, and time on BBC Two for the final of the World Darts Championship. Introduced by Tony Gubber. <laughs>